everyone. Um, so I've been getting more and more requests around comparing different tools, namely Integromat, Parabola, Zapier. So I want to do a quick video into how we could use Integromat for a automation that I had previously done on my live stream. So quickly, what we're trying to do here is we have our Webflow blog or whatever type of content we have on Webflow, and we'd like to update its number of page views uh, from Google Analytics. Um, and the reason we might want to do that is we want to rank our blog posts by popularity or e-commerce information by popularity. So if you want to see how I did it with Parabola, uh, there's a huge live stream I did a couple weeks ago, about 40 minutes. So I'll put the link in the show notes and you can check that out. But at a high level, what we did was we imported our Webflow CMS information like this. And then we imported our Google Analytics information did a few edits, joined them together into one table, and then exported uh, the Google Analytics page views into uh, our Webflow. So, you know, in doing this in Parabola is relatively easy and relatively um, intuitive. And the reason it's intuitive is because Parabola works in tables. So when I import my CMS, I'm importing every single data point, and it shows it to me in a table and does the same thing with Google Analytics. Now, if we switch over to Integromat, I have the exact same automation uh, that's recreated. So here, Integromat pulls all CMS items in a specific list. Let's look at that response. Um, and it pulls all 25 items. So if you're familiar with API calls, this might make a little more sense to you than a table. And then for each item, in our CMS list, it's going to do an iteration. So it's going to account for each one and then do these two operations. So it's going to go and get the number of page views for that CMS item and then update the Webflow CMS item with the number of page views. So here there are no tables. It doesn't think that way. It thinks in terms of bundles. But if you actually look at it, each one of these bundles is a row in our parabola table. So instead of working with the whole table and then iterating on updating the Webflow CMS item, this takes each CMS item, goes and gets the report, and then updates that specific CMS item. So you know whether you pick Integromat or Parabola really depends on how you prefer to think. If you're maybe a little more familiar with Excel or data tables, a Parabola may be the tool for you. If you are maybe a little familiar in inputs and outputs and APIs and their structures, uh, Integromat may be a better tool for you. But ultimately, in most cases, uh, you can use one or the other to kind of accomplish your goals. So let me know if this kind of comparison video is, is interesting to you um, and you know, happy to show other automations, both in Parabola, Zapier, and Integromat, and compare them. Cheers.